Mr. Gates, we meet on the, on the, the auspices of the Munich Security Conference on the, uh, the margins of it. It has just gotten underway. I referred at the outset to the unprecedented risks that the world is facing today. What would you say is, in your view, the gravest among them? What do you worry about the most? Well, the basic uh, trend in the world is extremely positive. Uh, what's gone on in the last uh, 25 years, we've cut poverty in half, we've cut uh, childhood death in half. Even in Africa, which is the toughest uh, part of the world, as the minister said, with huge population growth that will be a particular challenge for them, uh, things have improved very, very dramatically. For example, literacy has gone from 20% to 65%, which is a, a very foundational thing. There are very few things that would cause, at sort of a global level, uh, a big setback. Uh, the first is war, particularly a nuclear war, but any type of war. Uh, right now in Sudan, things are very, very uh, tough, even though very, people are very hopeful about that as a new country. The uh, unrest there has meant that it's, uh, you know, awful, awful conditions. Uh, the other things that would be negative setbacks uh, would include any type of epidemic. Uh, we've seen a uh, Ebola epidemic. We were lucky it only stayed in three countries, and it wasn't the type of epidemic where you just cough and you spread it. So uh, only people who were very sick were infectious. If it had been like a flu or smallpox, where anyone in a bus together or a plane together, you get these high rates of infection, it would have spread all over the world. Uh, we also have a type of, uh, of epidemic that we haven't seen that we have to worry about, which would be an intentionally caused one, bioterrorism, where the tools of biology mean now it wouldn't take an entire nation state. You could have a rogue set of, of uh, terrorists, uh, which would be a crazy thing, unleash uh, some type of, of pathogen. So we have to prepare ourselves for that. The tools of biology in terms of making vaccines quickly, uh, Germany and our foundation have partnered with uh, Japan and Norway and the Wellcome Trust uh, to uh, form a group called CEPI that's going to uh, push forward the research on that. And then we have climate change, which although it's not an immediate problem, if you take the next 30 years, particularly in the equatorial regions, uh, which includes uh, a lot of Africa, these farming conditions, the weather, you'll have more droughts, you'll have more floods. So it's important because changing energy systems is not an overnight thing, it's important that we get going on that. So war, pestilence, and, and climate change are the only three things I see that could take this very positive trend that most people aren't aware of, but that we want to continue and accelerate and interrupt that in a, a significant way.